Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications, um, spring 2013. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to measure the distance between features. But before we do that, I want to go over our last assignment from buffering. Okay, so from last time, your assignment was to create a script that will generate multiple buffer rings around points. So here's one way you could do it. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll open our point shape file and then we'll create a new shape file. So our new shape file will be a polygon shape file that will contain our buffered rings. So the geometry type of that output shape file will have to be well-known binary polygon. Okay, so then what we're going to do is make a list of distances around each point that we want buffered. So in this case, we want distances of 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And then we'll create a poly feature for our output buffers. Okay, so then we're going to loop through every point in our point shape file. So starting with our first point will be index 0, and our last point will be get feature count. So basically our get feature i will get the ith point within this loop. And then we'll take that ith point feature, grab its shape field or its geometry, and put it in this point variable. And then we simply loop through, so for our buffer distance in this list. So the first time through that little loop, the buffer distance will be 10, and the last time through the buffer loop, the distance will be 50. So then we basically just buffer our point by that buffer distance and then take our output buffer polygon and set our geometry based on that buffer. And then we save that to our shapefile. So for every point, since we're doing this loop five times, for every point we should have five output polygon buffers around that point. And those output polygon buffers would range from a radius of 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50. Okay, so we'll run that script and we'll see how it looks in RGIS. So we run it. And it runs successfully and then we'll look at it in RGIS. Okay, so there are the three points that we read in, and then here are our output buffer rings. So around each point, indeed, we do have buffer polygons. So this polygon representing an area within 10 of the point, and this polygon representing the area within 50 of the point. Okay, so on to calculating the distance between features. So here's a simple example. We've got four points, and I might want to know what's the distance from point one to point two. So in this case, I could visually measure it, and it's one meter. What we want to do is write a script that does the same thing. It's basically get point one, grab its geometry, get point two, grab its geometry, and then calculate the distance between those two points. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is import our OGR module, and then we'll import the glob module. And then we'll search for our shape file. So search for points asterisk.shape and return the first item on that list and put that item in this variable. 
and then we'll see what's inside that variable. So indeed we have those four points that were points.shape. So then what we want to do is make our driver so we can understand shape files. And then we will open the shape file and then create a layer object from our shape file. And just to double check, we should have four points in that shape file. So what is in this variable point counts? We expect it to be four points. And yes, it is those four points. Okay, so you remember what we want to do is get the distance from point one to point two. So what we'll do is we'll use an attribute filter and select the point that has an ID, point ID of one, and we'll see how many points were um, selected. So now the point count is one. It's just that one point that has an ID of one. So we'll get that one point that has an ID of one and store it in this variable, whatever you want to call that variable. Okay, so now we want to do the opposite. Um, we want to get point ID 2, so we'll change this filter to ID equals 2. And then we'll get that feature and store that in another um, variable. So now we've got two feature variables. One is um, from point feature, which is point one, and the other one is to point feature, which is point two. So then basically what we want to do is get the geometry from those two features. We don't care about the fields. We just need to know what's the point location. So we'll say, okay, point one is equal to our first feature. And then dot just say you got dot geometry. Simplest way to do it. And then we'll do the same thing for point two. So point two, we're gonna get it from the other feature which we call two feature. Okay, so now the point one object should have the shape field so it knows everything about the point location. So to double check it, what we could do is type in point one dot, and then we're gonna export to well-known text file. So that's what uh, point one geometry is. It's a point with an XY coordinate of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then we'll do the same thing for point two. So Alt P to recall previous command. And this time, what is point one like? So take that point one or point two object and export it to a well-known text file. So that's a point geometry and it's got an X coordinate of 1.5 and a Y coordinate of 0.5. Okay, so now we can calculate the distance between these two point objects. So I'll just call it PT dist is gonna be equal to 0.1 dot, and then we'll see the functions we have So there is a function distance. So give me the distance between point one and point two and store that in this variable. So what is the type of that variable? It's a floating point value and then what's inside it? Surprise, a distance of 1.0. Okay, so that's how you can calculate the distance between point one and point two. 
For your assignment, what you, I want you to do is write a script that will calculate the distance from point one to every other point in your shape file. And at the beginning of our next video session, we'll go over that script.